On this episode, we're going to go into further detail on the IRS, the independent rear suspension that's under the Green Hornet. All this came about in the starting to re-restore the Hornet from one photograph of what the IRS should have looked like. And that took us in this trail of wanting to make the Hornet's restoration as accurate as possible. The IRS was first developed for a 65 GT 350R. A guy named Jim Marietta wanted to resurrect those cars, and he is uh, a gentleman who worked at Shelby back in the day, and he has acquired all these parts. So we went and interviewed him. Let's take a look. About 50 some years ago, Ford wanted to develop a um, independent rear suspension car. And so they did a couple of prototypes and um, through a relatively circuitous route, we ended up with a lot of the original fabricated parts from Ford Advanced Vehicles. This, this is quite a find. I mean, to go on the original car to have a, a original piece. Mm -hmm. When the Green Hornet was first restored, they put a nine inch in it, but you don't believe it ever had a nine inch. Uh, after looking at the picture to work on, uh, to get a rear end set for your car, I went through the parts that I had and found basically what I believe are identical uh, hub carriers. We just happen to be fortunate to have some of the original pieces here. If you look at this carefully, each one of these is hand welded. And so it makes it a very original piece. Uh, that will be put into your car. That's very cool. This car was restored back in the early 90s off the memory of Fred Goodell, not off blueprints. And Fred basically told him how to build the rear end, and that's the rear end that was under it when I bought it. When they started researching this, some of the prototype cars got shipped back to Ford Advanced Vehicles and the parts that were all at Shelby America all got shipped to Holman and Moody in Georgia. The IRS was unbelievable how we chased these parts down. Now, in this, Carl Dwagen sold all these parts to Jim Marietta. All this came about in the starting to re-restore the Hornet from one photograph of what the IRS should have looked like. From the photograph, we could tell exactly how it needs to be built, but then Klaus Arning's son getting us a set of original blueprints, even on the blueprints, it tells you all these Jaguar parts numbers as all the assemblies come together, and we got all the original Jaguar parts and the original set of uprights. Then we put it all together, and originally Jim had sent me a set of later model shocks to go on it. And after really hunting through the pictures, I got a hold of a gentleman in Detroit that is uh, at Ford who worked on a lot of these cars and he, he recognized them as Armstrong shocks with the adjusters on them. And we ended up finding a set of those on eBay in England and got those put on the car. So now it's got the original hub carriers, the correct shocks, everything is correct and uses an emergency brake. So this was really a putting together a lot of different people with a lot of different resources to end up with, I think, the set of hub carriers that came off the Hornet back on the Hornet. 